and go, wow, you know, it's so much different genres of music that Oddie's dipping in and out of. That's kind of what I try and achieve with every album I do. And that's what I'll try and achieve on the next album and hopefully the next five or six, seven or eight or ten next after that. So that's awesome. We'll see. That's awesome. Well, thanks for your question. Sorry, thank you. Yeah. Maybe you can see that. Yeah. <laughs> so in depth. Now I heard that you you actually haven't yet even met Flo Rider yet. Yeah, he's featured no. on your uh, Troublemaker. I know. <laughs> it was the most random thing. I mean, we you know I just. We, we, we had him as an idea for Her Heart Skips a Beat until we got chilly and it was kind of, we had a little few chats and Flo was really up for it but unfortunately he was, you know, he was busy doing his own album at the time I think, he was out of promo, I wasn't too sure. So we just, we just said, well we've got this fresh song coming up, you know, would you be interested if we sent it to him, the Troublemaker, and he just was like, yeah, well, that's cool. But we just emailed and then I think he how followed, that, and then I followed him. Out? And then I, think, really? I think I'm following him, I'm not sure he's following me yet on Twitter. But I'd, I'd like to DM him and just say, like, thanks for being on the song. I mean, you know... You haven't even had a chance to thank him. I haven't even had a chance to really thank him. But we, we know, you know, in the day, he's a busy guy, and I'm sure he does, he does a few features on different songs. And I know he sent a few tweets out saying congratulations on a few things. So, you know, it'd be good to meet him in the future. I'm a bit worried about it. I'm trying to get a bit beefy up and... Oh, yeah, yes. I don't know how he finds time. He's a big old guy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he is. I think he eats a whole hen house of chickens. He <laughs> 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 definitely seems the type. Yeah, it does seem like that. I'm like, wow. This makes me feel very flustered. Like, huh. uh, is there other questions? Do you have another? You have a question? Here, come on up here if you wouldn't mind. Hello, how are you? What's your name? Brianna. Brianna. What's your Hi, question? Brianna. How are you? Huh? I'm good. Okay. If you weren't a singer, what would you be doing? God, I think if I wasn't a singer, uh, I mean, I was always a good salesman. I used to work in the call centre, I worked in recruitment, I worked in various things that were selling things. I think because I was taught a lot and I had a bit of confidence, so I'd probably be doing that, I think. I'd probably still be singing. I mean, I was already in a small little acoustic band, so me and my mate used to do it, so I'd probably still be doing them. Probably be a wedding singer. <laughs> I probably would have done a bit of wedding singing, um, or you know, I don't know. I mean, but I would probably have been going back into sales because that was what I was good at. So probably, yeah. Uh, it sounds nice. Well, thank it's you. Nice did, when did you realize that um, that is actually like the singing career was what you really wanted to well, pursue? I was, like, who told you like? You well, I was a like, soccer player, so I say soccer. Like, it's football. But okay. I, now we get after right. bite the rules and say soccer. Soccer. So um, I, I played soccer for years and then at 23 I had a really bad injury and then I, I mean I knew I could dance and sort of perform but I never sang in front of people, only really my family for like karaoke parties and then the, the, I was in this pub and um, drinking with my mates and just trying to socialise because I never really got to see them because that was all my life was, was my mates, football and when that was taken away from me I, I wasn't seeing them anymore so I started going to the pub which I hated because it was just full of drunk men and they were just like really big and butch and they used to just fight everyone and it was all like, oh, I don't really want to do this. And then, um, yeah, and then I, I, it was, there was a karaoke machine and one night a few drinks, jumped up, did a few classic songs, did a few impressions and then before I knew it, the, 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 you know, the guy was like, you should come down here and do a few gigs. And I was like, alright, anyway, that's cool. So then I found a guy that could do a gig and we started playing and then you know, get on my Facebook page. Oh, 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 that's yeah. nice. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and yes, yeah, so then we started doing these karaoke, you know, proper gigs. Facebook and all my friends to come down. And then a few people started inviting us to weddings and birthday parties, and we started doing this acoustic thing. And then I was like, oh, I'm pretty good at this. I quite like it. And I was really enjoying it. I was getting paid with like cash in hand as well. So I was like, happy days. And then I decided to audition for the X Factor, and I failed first time. Then I applied again, failed, and then I went travelling, and then I came back and did it. But it was, it was really pot luck. I, I, I'm lucky, very lucky. Nice. But I was just, you know, I think that's what's so amazing about these TV shows. I think people have like this, you know, some people have this negative approach to it, or media do, or radio, and radio or TVs have this media <coughs> negative approach to it, because you almost watch it and go, oh, this person's clearly know someone that or know Simon Cowell and he's given them the I honestly wish I knew Simon before I did this. 
<laughs> I would have been a lot easier, but no, I, you know, it really takes people from obscurity and, and the middle of nowhere and just gives them the most amazing job in the world. I mean, it's like, you know, look up the One Direction boys, you know, five guys that are literally, you know, all different parts of the country and then went for the X Factor and, you know, they, here they are now, That's the biggest cool. band in the world. So, did, he, did Simon recognize you? Did he go, clearly, Ollie, you do not realize the first two times that <laughs> no. I said, absolutely not. That was a weird accent. Yeah, that was almost like, yeah, hello, right? That wasn't even close. Right? Um, that wasn't close at all. It's not like Bruce from Finding Nemo. Well, I, think the hardest, I, think it was. I think the hardest thing, I think the people don't realise, is when you actually walk on the stage and you've watched the show, I mean, you guys have watched all these reality shows, like what everyone does, you know, American Idol, Pop Idol, Voice, everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And, it, and when you sit there and you watch Simon on TV and all the other judges for like the last three or four years, when I actually walk down the stage, I'm on TV. Like, you know, and it's like, oh my God, I'm, this is the audition part of the show. You know? It's weird. And, they, and I honestly think there's so many good singers that go under the radar because it's just literally walk out and you go, oh my God. <laughs> and they don't show it. They edited my audition so well because I actually walked down and they said, um, what's your name? And I was like, um, <laughs> Ollie Mers, <laughs> how old are you? And I went, um, well, actually, my birthday's coming up, so that would make me 25. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm 26 soon. I completely froze. What do you do for a job? I went, um, and, they, and, and literally even Simon said to me when I you know, got through and got to meet him, he, had, he said, he goes, we was, we was expecting, a, you know, the really silly, funny auditions, like I was going to be really simple and just be really rubbish. Um, and that's what they were expecting. So it is a dawning process. It's not as easy as people think. And I think, you know, it's, it's, it, I'm so ch proud that I did it. That's awesome. Well, uh, to wrap things up here, we've got this delicious treat for you, Ollie. What is hey, it? guys. I have no idea. I this looks like a flan. I hope it's not caramel or fudge because I'm allergic to that. Uh, no, <laughs> it looks like it might be a <laughs> chipotle <laughs> mayo. Ollie, oh, yeah. my God. Um, so, guys, you guys want to sing Ollie Happy Birthday? Oh, oh you want to sing it's so early! It's ruined! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! It's okay. Alright, so... Oh, look at that. Come in prepared. Alright, we're gonna sing you happy birthday. Since you're you're not gonna do the singing, we're gonna do it for you. You guys ready? You guys wanna do this? You good? Alright, cry face. Okay, alright, here goes. Count three. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ali. Nice. Happy birthday to you. so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you for ha coming out here, guys. We no, well, thank you for having me. No, I can say I apologise I couldn't do the acoustic today. Um, That's alright. I was really wanting to do it, but I'm, um, yeah, I'm a bit worried that I might lose my voice. You sang for me. Yes. That was much better. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming down. I hope you guys have had a good day. Enjoy your food. Rinse these guys for as much as you can. Get as many drinks on the table. Get all the desserts you can. You guys are paying for it, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, Yes! <laughs> Just walk out and if they try to stop you, it's cool, it's normal, okay? Just rub it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hand over.